Okay, this is Marvin of the Caldwell Model Railroad Club and Historical Society. We've recently acquired a building for us. So we're getting out of this top floor room of the local Eagles Lodge. The layouts are coming down. This is the end scale layout that uh, was on a previous video. And over here we have the, the HL layout, our main layout, which was which was uh, our primary layout. You see the yards down in sections now. And we got the bulk of the layout. Originally, when, we, when the club formed five and a half years ago, this area right here was uh, built as a modular layout for uh, ease of uh, dismantling and moving. But that time had never come, so eventually the backdrops that we did have around the middle of it here came down so we could build up to the inside of it. That was to add uh, extra train capacity and like that for. Uh, for a growing club. This mountain right here is, uh, has uh, one little unique feature to it. It has a lift out right here where there is access to get down inside for track work, uh, wreck, or whatever. Pads for the buildings that were here. The farm is out of there. Anyway, just the last look here while it's uh, coming up. This here was the pad for the car shop. The car shop shed is right here. As well as the, the gantry that I had built for the car shop. You'd notice that in other videos. <coughs> the steam service area right here is, well, it's out of there. So it's just in pieces, it's coming out of here. I've, uh, there's a local building in town here that uh, uh, was up for auction. Uh, a few of the club members that was a little better off financially than others uh, kind of got together and pulled and uh, won, the, won the bid on the uh, new building, which I'll have uh, on another video clip if I don't add it onto this one. I might add it onto this. The branch line took off right here. It went on through this tunnel and wound its way on up the hillside right there to the top. And then it's made its uh, return loop up on top just to have the train come right back down again. The uh, lower yard right there that inside loop was accessed off of this track off the uh, main line right here into the back. And then right over here was a, another switch to come right back out right here. So it'd come on back out and then tie back into the uh, main lines again. Then again we have this uh, layout right here. This is our uh, one of the first layouts we built as a uh, portable for uh, for uh, show and display. This is just a straight uh, straight analog right here, no DCC on it. It's in uh, two pieces. I think it's uh, four by five sections, so it's four foot by ten foot. Just a simple loop. And 
And this particular streamliner here is uh, one of the trains that was donated, us, uh, donated to us uh, early on. It, uh, yeah, this here comes apart in two. And then uh, we have this here, those uh, two uh, end scale layouts. This uh, right here is one of the end scale layouts. Uh, this is on a previous uh, video. Uh, this here is the one that we had down at the uh, depot here uh, for the Friday Night Express a couple of times. Uh, there's videos of that I have posted. This right here, Union Pacific System Map, dated uh, 1912. One of our members uh, found this here at a sale here and acquired it. 1912 map. Of course it shows the uh, Union Pacific system as well as the uh, Southern Pacific system. The Oregon Short Line, Oregon Washington Railway Navigation, and all the, the other lines including the shipping lines. This is it come back from the far corner?